okay again i will capture so r1 to r2 next r2 to r3 next i will capture r3 to r4 next r4 to r5 okay now just go to r1 router and i will just ping pi dot pi dot pi dot pi just i will give repeat one only one packet i will ping it okay now i will just click stop capture and in this link also i will uh, yeah stop capture and in this link also i will give stop capture and here also i will give stop capture okay let's first of all check it in <coughs> r1 to r2 just i will give icmp and enter okay next r2 to r3 just i will filter icmp packet only that is that is ping packet enter next r3 to r4 i will give icmp sorry <coughs> icmp enter okay next <coughs> r4 to R5 ICMP enter apply okay now we can filter only ping packet first of all we can check it R1 router R1 to R2 here we can see this is a ping request so let's we can check it here <coughs> this frame indicates overview of this packet and next one is a layer 2 information is a MAC address and here we can see MPLS. So before configuring MPLS, it should be in layer two, layer three. Here we can say layer two. That should be an MPLS. So that's why only it will comes under layer two point five because it will present in between layer two and layer three. So just the packet will be decapsulate and check its local MAC address, check its source MAC address, and it will be decapsulate and check it in MPLS packet. Here MPLS label two thousand three. That is pi dot pi dot pi network. The local label is in 2003. So here the experiment zero, the experimental bit is used for quality of service. So here the TT value indicates time to leave. So one router we can pass through one router means the TT TTL value should be reduced to one. If the, the this packet will pass through one packet one router means the TTL value 220. So 255 minus 1. If it pass through two router, means 255 minus 2. Likewise, it will be decrementing. And here, this yes indicates this is the final label. So if yes indicates zero, that yes indicates bottom of label stack. If bottom of label stack zero means there should be another label is there. If bottom of label stack should be one means it this should be a final label. And Yeah, this experimental bit is used for quality of service, and MPLS TTL value should be at two fifty five. So the total should be at thirty two bit address. So eight bit, sorry, twenty bit should be an MPLS label, and three <coughs> bits should be an quality of service, and one bit should be an bottom of label twenty four, and eight bit should be an TTL. So totally thirty two bit address. So it will check its MPLS label. And 2003 is should be an outgoing label, and it will send to R2 router. So it will not check any layer three information. It will not check any layer three information. Just it will check it in MPLS layer 2.5, that MPLS packet, and it will pass through that packet. It will not check it IP layer three information, and it check it in IP routing table. It will not check anything. So it will reduce the time delay also. So for that purpose only MPLS. is mainly used for quality of service so check check its mpls label so check its label 2003 it will send to r2 router 
so this is the R4 to R5 and uh, this is the R3 to R4 so R3 to R4 label 3003 so likewise it will check its layer MPLS label and it will forward the packets to neighboring router it will not check the layer 3 information so likewise R2 router, R3 router, R4 router the capture will be the capture file is there so the final thing is in R4 and R5 it will not check the MPLS label so once reach the R4 router it will remove the MPLS and it will send it through IP version 4 so let's we can check it in R1 router and just I will give trace route then I will give 5.5.5.5 here we can see R1 to R2 it will send through label 2003 and 3003 and 4003 so once reach R4 router it will remove the MPLS and it will send it through based on IP version 4 because R5 router directly connected to that network so, connected to that network so R4 is an PHP router penalty method for popping so that's why only in in trace route so or up to r4 it will showing mpls label afterwards it will not showing any mpls label it will working based on ip version 4 so let's we can check it show mpls ldp ldp neighbor enter here we can see show MPLS LDP will indicate the peer LDP identification here 2.2.2 .2 .2 is a transport address and this one also transport address already I will show it in Wireshark packet so 2.2 .2 is an active session active LDP so highest port number and 1.1 .1 is an passive LDP well known port number 646 ok so in basic concept of MPLS how to configure MPLS so before MPLS how the packet will be forwarding based on IP version 4 how the packet will be forwarding so I will show it to you then afterwards I will configure the MPLS and we can assign it so using MPLS we will generate the label locally then it will distribute that label to neighboring router through LDP protocol so the MPLS configuration command is just two commands only just enable MPLS IP and interface we can enable that interface participating in MPLS just give each and every interface you can give MPLS IP and global mode you can give MPLS IP that's it but in back end there are a lot of processes are going on so within a fraction of seconds the LDP packet LDP neighbor relationship will be established so before configuring MPLS just in, or in GNS3 you can start capturing Wireshark then afterwards you can configure the MPLS means it will back end process everything should be captured in Wireshark so then you have to analyze each and every packet you can analyze and you can practice it means you get well understanding MPLS concept so thank you for watching my videos